Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Roll of Hex. This is just a game that I'm having way too much fun with. And I love these little like quests and you know challenges that you have to do and complete. Oh yeah, we get to keep the behemoth. I forgot about that. Um, let's actually just I guess right away build a behemoth. Cause why not? Let's give it a shield. Let's give it a little bit more defense, I guess, while we're at it. Just because the behemoth isn't great at defending by itself. I uh, will go for auto build. I wish it would show the range of, like, turrets and things like that. Um, so I could kind of figure out how far this thing can actually shoot. But, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, decrease building costs. I don't think building costs is actually going to be that important. <clears throat> or because later on, it's like buildings are going to start building themselves anyways. Um, but, yeah. If the only options are integrity or building costs, then I'll go for building costs, I guess. I meant to go with something else. Yeah, whatever. We'll upgrade these, though. Because <clears throat> why not? We'll put, a, we'll put that guy right there. I want to get another behemoth here soon. I hate these little, like, fly guys. They're so annoying. Because they're just, they're just ranged, ranged units that cause me problems. On, on a cons consistent basis, they just cause me issues. Uh, we'll go for more damage on kill. I think that'll be pretty good, especially since it's going to be scaling very quickly. Um, auto upgrade, auto level. Um, ah, okay. That's an interesting part of the game that I didn't know about until now. Get auto upgrades and auto level. Only level up when you click on the experience bar. Ah, okay. Yeah, things are a little slow at this beginning here. I wish there was a way, like a fast forward button or something like that. Mainly just for the beginning, because like obviously later on things like... It's like, fast forward button later on, probably not going to use it. But like early, early game, I could, I could definitely see myself using a fast forward button. Um... Okay, let's put another behemoth there. We'll go for growth again. Go for that auto build. Go for that guy there. Um, we'll go for the integrity healing. Uh, go for resources every second. Because why not? I want to go for some more behemoths whenever I get the opportunity. There we go. Might want to put, like, just normal cannons around. We'll go with uh, more resources. Why not?
Yeah, you kind of have to be a bit careful. Yeah, let's go for our more auto build. Do, 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 do. I really can never get over, like, the music in this game because it's, it's so nice. Whoever they got to make their music is well done. Well freaking done. Um, let's see, um, every kill reduces every active skill cooldown by one second. Okay, we'll go with that. Because that would actually be really good, like later on. I could see that being helpful. Go for more barrier. Oh. Okay, well, that thing got destroyed. Definitely ain't good. Um, go for... Shield regen, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, supply drop, that's what I want. And we'll go for more barrier. So kills are gonna reduce the cooldown of these those things, which is gonna be really nice. Oh, I wish this thing would be would start getting hit by the behemoths. There we go. Okay. I was a little worried there that, that it wasn't going to get hit. Uh, go for more auto build. What are these things? These, just, like, ant type things. Just attacking for whatever reason. Yeah, I definitely need the supply drop here soon. I think the supply drop's going to be nice. Oh, and it automatically gets used because it... Okay, nice. Because we got a kill, so... Since it was... Since there wasn't a cooldown left, it just automatically used it. That is so... So handy. I like it. I like it. Yeah, this version of the game is so much nicer. Like I I'm I'm definitely enjoying this version a lot more than the version that I had received before this. It's just you know, I mean and it makes it makes sense cuz this is it's more polished. This this version is a bit more polished. So, of course it's going to be better. Less bugs as well. And just more features. Just more fun things as well. Just really nice. Nice to see. Damage on kill. We'll go for damage on kill. Yeah, sure. I'm honestly not sure if I really need, like, I, like the cannons obviously are going to be good, but heavily damages all enemies and structures, inst instructions within the selected area. Oh, okay. I don't think I want to nuke. Applies poison to all enemies within the selected area, enemies to their current integrity. Um, decreasing over time. Spread the poison. Enemy can be affected multiple times by this, but only from separate inactivations. Then the selected area. We'll go with poison, because why not? And it just automatically uses the ability. Interesting. Okay. I'm not... 
I'm not upset by that. I don't know. Because, like, obviously, yeah, automatically using abilities is really cool. But... I don't know. I, I feel like there's some abilities that I'm not sure if I want it to automatically use them or not. Uh, obviously go for another auto build. Just really buff the crap out of this auto build. I honestly would say that this auto build is probably what's going to keep me alive. Just because it's genuinely just that strong. So I need to be exploring. That's what I need to be doing. Okay. Yeah, I haven't really been doing that, I gotta say. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best way to go about it. Just building tiles probably wasn't a good idea. Probably just we're losing out on money. Okay. Let's do... Okay. Let's do something like this. Where we... Get like a little... Sanction area. A little sanctuary going. Somewhere safe. Uh, go for more resources, sure. Oh my gosh. Okay, things are getting a little crazy over there. Oh. Okay, a bunch of bugs just decided to shoot out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, nice. Getting a bunch of just random achievements. I'll take it. Need to be a little careful. Because, yeah, the behemoths can't shoot, like, directly in front of them. So you do have to have some behemoths protecting other behemoths. Trying to make sure I don't lose any of the behemoths. I think that's going to be the biggest trouble is like if I start losing behemoths then I think it's gonna go down go downhill very quickly I think that's kind of where that's when it begins going downhill the moment I start losing behemoths because it's like if you lose one then you then you have the potential of losing defense for another and then the defense for another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and it just... I'm 
starting to build out this way a little bit. I do think that the behemoths probably will be providing the best defense. Just because they do have such a big like area of effect when they when they attack. So that's kind of why I'm relying on behemoths mainly for defense. Definitely is a little scary that the enemy level is increasing. Because I'm assuming that just means that they're getting stronger as time goes on. And I don't want them to be getting stronger. So what is this thing? Can you, yeah, can you all destroy that? Okay. And, okay. Increase the incoming experience. We'll go with faster recharge. I think I should be able to hold off most things with my current setup. I'm just gonna put some buildings around just to keep things alive. I think enough behemoths can, for the most part, keep an, keep an area alive for long enough. Go for more auto build. Okay, maybe maybe the behemoths Okay, that that poison kind of making it hard to see. Go for more auto build. Oh, wow. Do, okay, what are these guys doing? Okay. I just need more behemoths around. That's all I need. See, the only problem is, like, so many of these, sh like, so many of these structures get built where there's, like, no defense. Like, there's defenses, but there's no, like, barriers or anything like that, and it just... It's not, it's not the safest area to be, is basically what I'm trying to say. It's a very dangerous position to be in. Especially if the barriers start going down, I definitely think that 
Oh, we only have, we have less than a thousand tiles left to explore. Honestly, if I had that one thing that lets me, like, view an area, that would be so nice right now. Oh my gosh, now there's sharks in the water? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's because they're, they're trying to attack this part here. Yeah, see, they, they build out around the edge here. Yeah, take out those sharks. Honestly, it's, it's kind of free resources. Because it's not like the sharks can, like, destroy any more territory. Okay, well, that just got destroyed immediately. You see, I, but this, this is not what I want. I don't want them, like, exploring this area. I don't want them to grow farther out. Decreases attack speed? No. Damage for isolated cannons? Barrier? Let's go for more barrier recharge. Go for projectile speed. I think projectile speed is gonna be the better option. Yeah, just keep keep growing into the water. Honestly, I'm fine with that at this point. Because growing into the water means free enemies to destroy. I can basically just farm the farm the sharks. I just need to put more behemoths down. Because all the sharks just build up in one area. Uh, grants every can a chance of knocking. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll go for more upgrade options. But yeah, I just need to put some more behemoths down. What is happening? Let's go with slow on hit. Oh, yep, this is where the lag starts. Lag is beginning. I've barely explored any tiles either, like... Compared to how fast the enemies are growing, like... Yeah, I'm not even close. Attack speed on kill? Ooh. Oh no, um... Yeah. Uh, automatic barrier, that's what we want. Uh, we'll go for more resources. Barrier induced slow. We'll go with that, I guess. Oh no, I'm trying to take out these sharks. So I'm thinking, you know, these sharks are gonna provide me with some 
resources for destroying. Well, resources and experience. So actually, this is kind of just free experience. Destroying these sharks. One thing that does have me a little annoyed is how the barriers are starting to get involved as well now. Uh, go for more auto build. At this point I feel like auto build is probably not a good upgrade to ha be going for. I don't know. I really am just fully relying on the farmability of these sharks. Go for more projectile speed. You know what, we'll increase the damage. for more slowness. We need to we need to get into exploring more territory, so I'm trying to expand. I'm like uh I'm like the those colonists. The European I'm like European colonists. I'm trying to explore and grow my territory at any means necessary. Okay, things are getting a little crazy now. I mentioned European colonists and uh, I don't think they like that very much. But too bad, their, their inferior weapons cannot Cannot, uh, cannot defeat me. Oh, this, this, this is so bad. This is getting too real. Honestly, might be worth it to have like barriers along kind of like the edges. So then they have to attack the barrier first. Huh? Someone explain that one to me. You're telling me that these sharks can go on land? Okay. Yeah, I... I would love to see a shark go on land. Actually, no, I wouldn't, but... Sure, we'll go with that one. Go for more damage. Oh, uh, go for more slow on hit. For more attack speed. See, it's like these sharks are going on land. I don't understand how this works. Go for more slow on hit. What's it up to now? Four? Okay, if we get that to a five, then we should be good. See, they're just going on land. They're just chilling. Bro, 
Is now gonna hold charges, shoot them with an enemy as in range. I'm gonna go for attack speed on kill. Honestly, these are gonna be the strongest turrets just right down here. Like, even if even if enemies get through these defenses up here, yeah, there's no there's no way they're getting they're getting down here. Conditional multi shot. Go for more experience. Go for more damage, sure. Oh my god, this whole thing is just getting crazy at this point. Go for more attack speed. Between land check- Bro, what is this? I'm telling you, these land sharks, it, it, they, they gotta be stopped. I'm just saying. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about land sharks. This kind of feels like a shark NATO incident. I'm not, I'm just saying. Bro, can y'all get out of the way? Get out of here. The slowness is really strong. Yeah, see now the only problem is the ranged units because they're consistently damaging the barrier yeah okay well I mean I'm almost there so honestly Just go for some craziness. And when I said craziness, I didn't mean crazy lag. I... Okay. Um... Sure. That actually would be a good upgrade to have, though. Oh my gosh, they're just destroying everything over here. Go for more damage on kill. Stop targeting the sharks and target the giant spheres that are that is just completely bombarding our territory. Can you can you do that, please? Oh jeez. Things yeah, things are getting really laggy at this point.
It's already up to five, so I don't need any more. Is the speed of these guys increasing now? Where is the massive structure failure? Are they talking about down below? Because, yeah, down here there's a massive structure failure. Over here, I guess, kind of, too. Not really that word, though. Um... There are no similar buildings adjacent to it. Cases for each. Yeah, uh. I'm gonna go with that. Oh, yeah, these guys are getting a lot faster. little worrisome. Oh, I should have gone for scan. What am I doing? Literally would have been able to explore so many more tiles if I just went for scan. I'm so stupid. But whatever. Oh, yeah. Going down here. These guys are going in the water? We got, we got freaking land sharks, we got water, uh, okay, you know what, we're going, we're going this way. This is our last hope, is just go this way, just keep moving this way. Oh gosh. I should have gone for the scan. Why didn't I go for the scan? Well, I think this run might be over at this point. There's, um, I'm just saying, there's sharks on my buildings on land. I'm not saying the game is rigged, but... I have some questions, okay? Some questions, some major concerns. Yes, I, I can see that multiple structures have been destroyed. And I'm telling you now, we're ignoring it. We're ignoring the problem. And we're just going to keep moving onward. What if I just do something like this? What is this thing? Yeah, I am not sure what this is. Okay. Just do things like this. Just quickly explore. Come 
Come on. I did it! Oh my gosh. So what was it I got? I don't even know what. Build speed. Sure. I don't even... Whatever. I'm just happy I made it through that thing. Machine gun upgrade allows upgrading into machine guns. More often, their attack increase as they fire, but they deal less damage and less area of effect. See, area of effect is what I need. I don't need... I don't need less. I need more. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video of Roll of Hex. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Me and the world to me doesn't... Uh, world, that means the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.